dark ways, sharp claws, even sharper teeth. Creatures of the night, creatures of your worst nightmares. Whoa now, stop, wait there. That's not creepy. They're cool. That's how they're freaking people out for centuries. But they really don't deserve such a bad reputation. Today we're going to be debunking all the lies about bats. And we're going to tell you the truth too. Let's do this. Let's start at the beginning. Why do people find bats scary in the first place? There are a whole bunch of reasons for that. First, bats only come out at night when people can't see very well. And anything we can't see can seem a little creepy. And speaking of the dark, Another reason people think bats are creepy is because where some of them live in caves. A long time ago, people believed that caves were an entrance to the underworld, a place where evil creatures lived. So anything that came out of the caves had to be evil. But now we know that dust is not true. Caves are just tunnels underground, and they don't lead anywhere evil. And caves are really fun to explore. We love caves, but to get back on track. Did you know that not all bats live in caves? It's true, many bats do live in caves, but there are also many bats that don't. Some live in trees, and some are very happy to live in bat houses that are put up by people. Another reason people think bats are creepy is because many are small, move very fast, and look a little bit like rodents. Some people even think that bats are rats with wings. But that is just not true. Bats are actually more closely related to cats than rats. And not all bats are small either. Some bats are really tiny, like the bumblebee bat, whose body is smaller than a grown-up's bum. And some bats are actually huge like flying foxes. These bats can have a wingspan of almost six feet across. That's wider than most people are tall. Flying foxes definitely don't look like rodents. And even though they're called flying foxes, they aren't foxes either. But seriously, how cute are these guys? So now we know why people think bats are creepy, and we know why all those reasons are wrong. So, let's debunk some more myths about bats. Bat myth number one. Bats like to get tangled in your hair. Why on earth would a bat want that? Would you want to get tangled in a giant spider web? So why would a bat want to? That myth is just silly, but that probably comes from how and what bats eat. Many bats are insectivores. That means they eat bugs, like mosquitoes. And what do mosquitoes eat? Us. Mosquitoes like to drink our blood. So if a person has a mosquito buzzing around their head, the bats might come really close to catch the mosquito. 
but I promise you, bats are very good flyers. And they don't want to get tangled in your hair. They just want the mosquito that's trying to bite you. So the next time a bat flies close to your head, just say thank you. So let's talk about how bats fly so well and debunk another myth. Most bats navigate by echolocation. They make high-pitched noises and listen for that sound to bounce back to those big ears of theirs. They can tell how far away something is by how long it takes for the sound to come back. See how they never run into each other? I don't recommend people try that. Bats are kind of famous for the echolocation, and because of that, and the fact that bats fly at night, makes a lot of people believe that bats are blind. But that just isn't true either. Bats actually see very well. Just look how big these eyes are. This is a flying fox, and they don't echolocate at all. They navigate at night by eyesight alone, and they see really well. Kind of like a cat. Another bad myth we just have to debunk. It's that that's when it's in your blood. While it is true, vampire bats do exist. There are about 1,400 different kind of bats in the world, and only three of them are vampires. And those vampire bats don't really like human blood. They definitely prefer animal blood. And all the rest of the bats in the world eat other things. Things that actually help people, like eating those annoying mosquitoes. One bat can eat 1,000 mosquitoes in one hour. That's about 6,000 mosquitoes in just one night. And that's just one bat. Yes, please. I want those bats in my yard. Look at all those wonderful mosquito eaters. And bats actually eat all kinds of bugs. And a lot of bugs they eat are agricultural pests. In other words, bats are excellent pest control for farmers. It's estimated that bats save farmers more than $3 billion in pest control every year. Without bats, our food would cost more and would just be sprayed with a lot more pesticides. So bats make our food cheaper and healthier. That is definitely a good thing. And some bats are actually pollinators too. These bats are actually more like butterflies, bees, and hummingbirds by drinking nectar and helping to pollinate flowers. Without pollinating bats, there would be no avocados. No mangoes, no bananas, and no agave. Agave is some kind of cactus, and the grown-ups seem to think it would be really bad if it disappeared. Grown-ups are so weird sometimes. And fruit bats help spread seeds to new places. Another myth about bats is that they all have rabies. That also is just not true. Any mammals can get rabies, so bats can catch it too, but it's rare. Less than 0.5% of wild bats have rabies, and there's only one or two cases of rabies in people each year in the U.S. That's not very many. The benefit of having bats around far outweighs the dangers of rabies. You should always be careful around any wild animal and never pick up a bat with your bare hands. Call the professionals for that. So those are the biggest myths about bats. And we just debunk them all. Bats don't want to get tangled in your hair. Bats are not evil cave creatures. Bats are not flying rats. Most bats are not blind thirsty. Bats are not blind. And very few bats have rabies. Now that we have debunked all the lies about bats, 
here are a couple of true things. Baby bats are called pups, just like baby dogs. A group of bats is called a colony. A place where bats sleep is called a roost. And sometimes, more than one species of bat roosts together. Bat wings are actually made up of the same bones as a human hand. They have a thumb and four fingers. That's like we do. And bats are the only mammal that can fly. Even flying squirrels don't actually fly. They glide. So now that you know how cool bats are, maybe you want to help them. And here is how you do that. You can help bats by putting bat houses in your yard. And if you're looking for a good bat house, we know where you can find one. And the bats that use it will eat your mosquitoes. And you can also help by keeping bats healthy. A lot of bats are in trouble right now because of a nasty bat disease called white nose syndrome. People can't catch it, but we can spread it on our shoes and clothes. So you can help bats by cleaning your shoes and clothes between visiting caves. A lot of caves you can visit actually have special cleaning spots just for that. Use them. And probably the most important thing you can do is to help protect the bat's habitat. Keep your yard chemical free. And when you visit wild places like national parks and state forests, take only pictures and leave only footprints. If we want to protect the bats of the world, first we have to protect their homes. And you can also help bats by helping us help bats. Like this bat. No, really, this bat. The one in the video. This is Mooney. He's a Malayan fine fox. And he lives at Ruby Bat Conservation. And right now through Halloween, we are running a fundraiser on our website and Instagram to help the Ruby Bats. Check that out. And if you want to see what Mooney and his friends are up to right now in real time, you can. Go to ruby.org and check out their live bat cam. And you can see what the Ruby Bats are doing right now. They're so cute. Bats are not the creepy creatures people think they are. They're actually an important part of the world. Well, friends, now you know the truth about bats. So the next time you see a bat fly by, don't be scared. And the next time you eat a banana, take a bat. Thanks for watching, everyone. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Until next time, bye.